Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon, and today I have it open up a World of Illusions box. I did get this from trollandtoad.com, a link will be in the underbar below, so you should definitely check that website out. Um, this box comes with a, a Celebi Prime, three Pokemon Booster Packs, so a Call of Legends, another Call of Legends, and then Undaunted, maybe. I'll have to take a look at it. And then it comes with a Zoro Arc and Legendary Pokemon card, oversized one. So open this up. I'm hoping to get real good pulls out of here. Some of these collection boxes like this, you usually do get quite good pulls. Even though I probably just jinxed myself saying that, now I probably won't get anything good. But I hope to. Hopefully this is easy. Oh, I guess the card just pulls out like that. That's sort of nice. You don't even wreck the card. Let's get a good shot of this. Um, lots of sort of bend it down, but there it says Zoroark and Legendary Pokemon HP 500, and then you know Call of Legends that. But you can't use these big cards in play. I've been asked that before. They're just for you know special promos that type of thing. Now let's see if I can get this thing open. Yeah, I can. Pretty easy. So the Celebi Prime is not a promo or anything, so that's nice. So take a look at the Celebi Prime. There it is, and you can see by looking down here, 92 of 102, and you can see the star. If it was a promo, like those level X's that come in the tins, um, it just have a big black star down there. So I'll put this part on the ground. Yep, it comes with three packs, an Undaunted. And then two Call of Legends, so we'll open the Undaunted first. Go oldest to newest. So we have a Murkrow, Eevee, Slowpoke, Beldum, Pineco, Pinsir, Darkness Energy. Sablai, Hitmonchan Reverse, just a regular common, and the rare, Gliscor Hollow. Pretty nice. I always see this card and I never think it's hollow, because if you just look at it like this, it doesn't look like it, but then you sort of have to roll it like that. Just because the moon behind it makes it doesn't really have that much holographic tint to it. So now to Call of Legends. I've actually had pretty good luck with uh, the Call of Legends packs that I've opened up so far. I've gotten quite a few um, shiny legendaries. Okay, so we have a Houndour, Totodile, Magmar, Chikorita, Vulpix, Croconaw, Research Record, Jolteon, Tangela, that's probably just a regular common, yep, and then the rare, for Alligator. Seems like I've gotten this for Alligator card a lot lately. I probably already have a bunch of them for the last set that I was in. Because Call of Legends is mostly a remake of all the Heart Gold Soul Silver sets. Except for probably, you know, 10 cards maybe. Um, most of them are just either updated artwork or exactly um, the cards from the old, the either Heart Gold Soul Silver, Triumph, and Undaunted, and Unleashed sets. So we have a Pidgey, Relincanth. I do like the artwork on some of these cards. Hitmonchan. Snubble, Fanpy, Lost World, Riolu, Don Fan, Grass Energy Reverse, and a Typhlosion. So not too great of pulls. I must have jinxed myself opening this box, but one out of three packs, so average pulls overall. Um, so thanks for watching. Definitely check out all the links in the underbar below. Troll and Toad, blog, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. Um, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.